for the last two days. Most of the monks at Namdraling Monastery have been reciting the precious Kangyur. The sponsor of this event is the Venerable Galta Rinpoche and the purpose is for the long life of His Holiness Dujam Rinpoche and the long life of His Holiness Painor Rinpoche. At this particular time, this is the conclusion of the two-day recitation of the entire Kangyur. And simultaneously, quite a few of the monks here are performing the 500,000 accumulations of the preliminary practices. Right now, right now, this group of monks who are doing the preliminary practices are accumulating the 100,000 prostrations. Amongst them is the Venerable Peyu Choktrol Rinpoche, who can be seen prostrating, and along with him, several of the other major tukus of the Peyo Monastery, including Tukung Aden, Tuku Ajom, and so forth. These are two of the main Kempos who teach at the Scholastic College. The Kempo on the right is Kempo Pema Sherab, and on his left is Kempo Sewan Gatso. They are also reciting the Kangir. Shy friend here. <laughs> Typical scene here at the monastery. Right now, this group of monks, in fact, there are quite a few more of them, are accumulating the 500,000 practices of the preliminary practices of. Namchu, Great Perfection, Buddha in the Palm of the Hand. Heading this group is the Venerable Pei Choktral Rinpoche, who is seated on the right in the orange shirt, drinking from the thermos. The monk standing up is his lifetime teacher, who's been raising him since he was discovered as a small infant. His name is Otto. He's a very wonderful, kind attendant and teacher. These monks are just now taking a casual break from having done prostrations all morning long. It should be mentioned that the temperature is about 95 to 100 degrees, Scholastic College of Namdra Ling. And every day from 5 to 6, the students of the college gather together to do what is called sutpa, or the art of logical reasoning. 
public debate. And this kind of a process is a way for them to study and internalize the material that they learn in their classes. Based on what they've studied in the past few days, then they will come out here and they will ask questions to one another about that material. And actually there's no winner or loser. Each one assumes the role of the other. So even if they don't believe in what they're saying, they'll say it anyway, just to learn more about it. This is really a time for the Lamas to have a lot of fun. As you can see, the questions are being posed to Chokjo Rinpoche, and it seems as though he has his answers quite under control. Presently, he's doing the 500,000 preliminary practice accumulations and is doing the prostrations at this time, so you can see the, the bruise on his forehead from prostrating all morning and afternoon, and then coming over here to debate for an hour and then to go back and prostrate into the night. This is the way the young Tukus are trained here at Namdraling Monastery, a very full schedule. The language that they learn for these debates is a special language that has to be studied. So it's not as though they're speaking just normal Tibetan and saying yes or no. Actually, it's impossible to understand it unless you've studied it. If the helper next to him has anything to add, he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You've just seen a typical afternoon at Namdraling Scholastic College. In the years to come, there will be hundreds of young monks studying here to achieve the status or title of Kempo, Buddhist scholar of the sutras and tantras. Right now, this is just a small group performing the afternoon debate. Some of the students are also in classes, and others are studying in their rooms. It's hoped that someday in the future, even Westerners can come to study here. In order to enroll in this college, one must take ordination as a monk. And based on the adherence to those vows and other strict rules, the study program is carried forth. Since the school children are on their recess break, we've come over here to the residence of the young Tulkus. Underneath the tent, headed by Rago Choktril Rinpoche, is the one-month Buddha in the palm of the hand preliminary practice retreat, which is going on right now. This small group of monks who are doing the practices meet three sessions a day under this tent to perform them. This young Tuku is the Venerable Rago Choktril Rinpoche, who has recently rediscovered in Tibet and has brought here to Peyo Namdraling Monastery to be placed under the care of the third Drupwang Peno Rinpoche. He is one of the major lineage holders of the Peyo tradition, and to his left is his teacher. His teacher um, lives with him and actually oversees all of his daily activities and teaches him the proper discipline of a monk, teaches him reading, writing, and so forth. And the lay Tibetan here with the group of monks who are doing the guru yoga aspect of the preliminary practices is his father. The father has also recently come out of Tibet in the last month to join his Tulku son for a short while here in southern India. Oh. 
Drilling. When His Holiness is not going for Shopton or not performing some kind of a ceremony, he's usually going off to town to buy supplies for the monastery and for the monks and just for every single person in this, in this camp and area. I think today he's going down to try to repair the bridge, which is washing out, and since the monsoon season is approaching, that's another very important job, which no one seems to do without him there to oversee everything. Unlike uh, the way we travel in the West, here in India they really pack people into cars. Oftentimes you'll see 10 or 15 monks hanging out the windows of His Holiness's car as he drives by. I think today there are only a few in there. And by the way, he's an excellent driver. His Holiness left the United States, he came home and built this complex for the Westerners, Ngs as they're called here. This is our complex where we have stayed the entire time. Galta Rinpoche, one more time, please. Can you say it again? <laughs> we obviously have one of the tractors passing by right now. Sangha and Rinpoche before their home. This is the translator, Paljor. Okay, now back for the shot that I was doing. Beautiful roses in our little compound. And in the far distance was the carpet factory that we were inside. <laughs> 